at Dakota. Of course, our food drive is going on right now, the 24th year for this. And I'm outside here with our Mark Soliday and Jerry Weiss from the Second Harvest Food Bank. And Jerry, this has been such an effort preparing for this. What's it feel like to be part of the big day? It's fantastic. The effort is so worth it. And you look at just look at all of our great volunteers that are out here so early for yeah. the great cause of helping our food insecure neighbors in need, especially around the holiday time. When it's tougher for them, we get tougher for them too. Absolutely, and everybody pitches in. Mark, you've been doing this for so long. Yeah, so the interest of Jerry over the pandemic, obviously, we saw lots of uh, you know demand for food bank services going up, and now you know we're coming off a couple of years of uh, folks you know talking about inflation and how those grocery store bills are going up. So, what's the need been like at Second Harvest Food Bank over the past couple of years? Need's been up. You mentioned the pandemic. We saw increase during COVID. Inflation. We saw a higher increase than we did during the pandemic. I mean. W uh, just people with means go into the grocery store and get sticker shock. So you can imagine your food insecure neighbors who are, you know, single parents struggling with multiple jobs, kids trying to make it work. So it's food drives like this that help not just them regularly, but right now during the holidays where we want to make it extra special for them. I had the chance this week to be at the food bank and of course meet with some folks who receive that food and I think it's so interesting to see somebody say you know all my life I've been able to provide for myself and now I just couldn't and it was hard to ask for help but boy am I glad I did. I know it's very hard for those who need to ask for help and we're always saying you know we'll hear people say my god look at all these people that are here and what we say is we're here though you know, we're here for them and we always will be here for them throughout, you know, Erie and throughout our whole 11 county area in northwest Pennsylvania. Yeah, I love that. These are our neighbors and our neighbors are in need and we can help even if it's a can of food that you have in your cupboard. That's what I was kind of wondering, right. Jerry. It's still early, so folks have time to kind of go through the cupboards and see what they might have and be able to donate. So what specific items maybe are, are you looking for to help out right now? I mean, we're looking for, like you said, canned goods are always good. Turkeys are great. Um, anything anybody is willing to spare, if they want to donate um, money as well, that goes to a great cause for us. We're able to procure more goods, more foods for people who need it. Um, it's just a fantastic effort by not just our team, but all the volunteers that we have. And again, we couldn't do what we do without our volunteers. I mean, we've said before, they're the backbone of our operation. I mean, you see right here, this, so is, this is our backbone. Right and we're stronger because of it, and our neighbors will be stronger because of them. And our neighbors will be stronger because of you. So stop by any time between now and six o'clock tonight. We'll be waiting for you and your donations. We'll be back with more Erie News Now Sunrise.